Thanks, Sedeto. Uh, and I reiterate that about the Moodle Users Association. Now, on that note, I want to I want to actually uh, take us through a bit of a something similar. Now, on the program, we had uh, a community panel discussion uh, that seemed too boring, and I want to go through in instead what I want to do. Uh, if you could flick the screen up, please. Um, <clears throat> I want to have a bit of a, a brainstorming session together. And what I would like at the end of, say, I think we could do this in half an hour, and then we can all get, get out of here. Um, as a group, uh, together, let's kind of extract what we want, or what you think Moodle needs to do. Right? That's what I want to get out of this. So it's a very simple brainstorming session. Uh, there's a document here, if, if you want to go to it, you're very welcome, uh, though you don't have edit rights yet. Stop making comments. Um, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll tweet this later on, uh, once I've cleaned it up a little at the end. And uh, it, will, it will just say, here's a, basically a statement of what this group thinks Moodle should do at this point in time. I did the same exercise in the US, and it will be quite interesting to compare the two, actually. So the way I want to do this is uh, all of you uh, uh, have to do some thinking first. So we're going to have about three minutes quiet time. I want you to pull out your nearest device and I want you to have a little brainstorm amongst yourself only as to what you think uh, maybe the top five things that you think Moodle should focus on. I mean Moodle HQ, the, the community, but particularly Moodle HQ. This is like you're giving me some instructions here, right? Um, top five things. And then um, after that, uh, we're going to go around. I'm going to collect as many of them as possible. And you probably other people might name some of yours. So it doesn't matter. I just want to get a list of a lot of them down. And then each of us are going to have five votes. And we're going to go through them one by one. And you can use some of your votes up on either yours or others. And at the end, we're going to have a, 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 a sorted list of priorities. Make some sense? OK, so three minutes starting. That. Stop writing. <laughs> How are you doing that? All right, that's it. That's it. I'm turning it off. I'm turning the car around. <clears throat> um, can't trust anybody. There you go. You're viewing. Stop it. So. Um, so, three minutes, bit of private brainstorming time, and I want you to just think by yourself, write down what you think we should be focusing on. Okay, um, has anybody got like something urgent, they just got to get off their chest right now and start us off? Uh, who's got a suggestion? You, sir, you look keen. There are a few of us are talking about lessons, which is like one of your most powerful tools, yep. but it's lacking... It's lacking because Thank you. Um, it's only got very basic quiz questions in it. And if yep. you could pull all of the quiz questions into lesson, that would be amazing. Okay. So, so lesson drag and drop image, etc. Integration with uh, question database. And the other thing we had on lesson is um, when you're a learner, you're going to learn to use lesson linearly. <coughs> But as you get more sophisticated, you're going to storyboard out to different pathways. It'd be nice to do that visually. OK. That's enough from you for the moment. Anyone else? <laughs> no, uh, the, the, these two things are not, are not new ideas. They're, it's good to see them here. Um, who else got some other? Who else has got some good ideas you want to get out there, write down? At the back. I'm going to make you run, Claudia. Oh, great. Wow. <laughs> Over there, guy with the laptop. That's it. <laughs> the guy with the ears. Um, m fix marking forms and rubrics and reporting on it. Fix how? Um, make them more complex. So you, you can't do a combination. The forms aren't complex enough to... to uh, duplicate the forms that people require. They need check boxes as well as lines and points and text boxes. Can you say it in about eight words that I can uh, type? Make a really flexible marking form. Okay, thank you. Make marking forms flexible. Okay. 
Uh, I'll take that one on. Um, now, you may be starting to think about which ones you're going to vote for as we go along. Uh, OK. Um, anyone else? Yes, down here. Sorry. We're, we are recording and, and probably streaming. Got something for uh, no, sorry, no. Moodle Cloud. Uh, yes. Enable pre-approved uh, plugins to be installed. Pre-approved, for example, uh, Moodle HQ might say Turnitin is an approved plugin. You can install it on Moodle Cloud. Oh well, we already have that. You do? Yeah, we we have extra plugins on Moodle Cloud that we have pre-approved. Wow. So done. I won't even put it on there. Um, but th and and that will increase. There will always be more and more. We're adding more functionality to Moodle Cloud. Yes. So I won't I won't put it down. Um, <sighs> yep, down here, Jean Paul. I'll repeat. Technology, uh, incorporated. Why? Uh, to, it's cool. to, uh, to authenticate and not to authenticate, but to verify that what you've get it, getting out of Moodle is actually that was done by an institution and signed and um, actually an authentic item. So let's say blockchain and badges or okay. blockchain and certificates. Badges themselves are certification of yeah. a sort. Yeah, uh, so are signed. Is that the yeah, kind of thing? Yeah, but mean? I'd like to see a, a, I, I think that using blockchain and expanding the use of it would make it a bit more um, trustworthy in my, in my eyes. Okay. Some sort of holistic um, <laughs> certification. And you're, you're mostly thinking of Results of yeah, items like okay. All right. Well, we'll see. Um, can I explain that better? That's probably not clear. Is that what you mean? I was, I'm trying to. It, when you start off with blockchain, you're kind of starting with a solution. I kind of we, we need to know what is the what is the the problem you're trying. What is the thing you want? Yeah. So. The authentication, not authentication, but uh, verification. So verification. making sure that if if a certificate came out of this Moodle site, right, from this institution, that there's an easy way that that can be verified and not not falsified in any way. Okay. All right. That that'll do. I think. All right. I uh, may as well just. There was a presentation before about the certificates, and they have that verification code. But it, st it saves it just within that instance of Moodle, so no other system can access that and validate it outside your system. So maybe the verifiable certificate having somewhere or some way of that code being unique and accessible from other places, for example, so that someone could get your certificate and have a look at it and they could verify it somewhere yep. else rather than having to come to your institution to do it. Yeah, Badges does exactly this. I'm just pointing out that okay. it's exactly what Badges does. Uh, but if you want something that's cool, uh, then you can put cooler. <laughs> okay, that's good. Just so long as everyone understands roughly what we're talking about, because you're going to vote later. Uh, is there an easier way for me, rather than me picking everybody, because I'm kind of biasing this situation terribly, probably. The man in the hat, I'm just going to, I'm going to bias it. Too bad. Darren. Extending the Gradebook API to make it possible to have more complicated grading schemas so that we can meet different institutions' needs. For example, at Monash University, we need hurdles. There's no clean way for us to do that, even using the mathematical grading, because we need to keep the marks but have different grades. OK. OK. Is that, is that Essentially okay? it allows, yeah, okay. more flexible grading schemas so that we can write code that plugs into Moodle Core. Okay. Gosh, these are all very specific. Everyone has a wish list. <laughs> yeah, I know. This won't be perfect, but it's going to be something. Now, who thinks there's something des desperately missing off this list so far? Oh, a lot of you. Sorry. Uh, just, just go from table to table, actually. Just keep going like that way, I think. Has been and uh, past these guys. Oh, did you have your hand up? Okay. 
right? Look, I'll try and explain this one uh, as easily as I can. We use the one course over and over again, yep. different groups. So if we can define that group um, and the members of it, being able to do um, a course level reset or date override for every date. So the way that a reset currently, you put a new date in and it'll right. push everything. Okay. But being able to define like a group override, but at the course level for a group and it pushes everything. All dates in a course. Everything, yeah. So you've got simultaneously 10 groups in there that have all got different sets of dates, but based off a well, template. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, try and get more towards the back, because I seem to be picking the middle a lot. So you just sort of go off and, yeah, do it. So you have to attract these, these two ladies' attention. <laughs> go on. A little bit related to that one, for assignments and for quizzes we have user and group overrides, but we have things like wikis that have an edit until date, <coughs> a, um, a forum that has post until date that staff, teachers use as due dates, but it's really difficult to give individuals or groups an extension. So that group override, user override functionality applied to all those activities that have dates that they use as due dates. Um. So group specific, um, group specific due yeah. dates. Group and user overrides, yeah. Right. Okay. Group and user on due dates per activity. Something like that. Who's next? Yes. So um, it's a bit vague. It's only half a thought. More student-generated content, so the ability for students not just to be passive, like click on the links, but actually create some of the stuff in their class space. So to do that, you just change your role or add some overrides. Yeah, you can do that. If you want them to create a quiz to assess each other, sorry, maybe they can create a quiz to assess each other. You've got to create the quiz space first and then assign them that role within the quiz. Not if you assign it to them at the course. <laughs> I don't know that, I, but, but if you want to restrict it a little bit more. Right. Perhaps. Okay. So how do we describe that? Uh, what, what do we say? More fine grained Stu Student generated activities. I, I'm, I, I don't know if I want to put that one down because that's one of the use cases in the original design. So Moodle has always allowed student created activities by design. Uh, it's just that most of you haven't switched it on. <laughs> um, yep. Uh, okay. Well, come on, I'm going to put it. Maybe, maybe no one knows it's there. Uh, student created activities. You give your students a whole course. Make them teachers. Make them admins. <laughs> it's not a bad idea. Uh, in fact, with Moodle, you can make it so a, a guest that lobs in off the internet without logging in can be an admin. Um, all right. Uh, how about you just take turns? Find, uh, good. Yeah, find them for me. That's it. Good. <laughs> so I have a specific UI problem with Moodle, and I guess I don't want to bring that up because it's very specific, but I was thinking it'd be good if there was a framework for the Moodle User Association to propose UI or UX projects. And I guess so far, the, most of the projects out of the MUA have all been like for a specific item, like we want this particular item. It'd be nice if it was like, we want to improve the UX on an existing item in Moodle. And like, well, how do the, we do that? So. The, the last projects have literally been that. They've actually just said, fix the user interface uh, for this thing that exists already. So maybe I should have gone with my specific. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are you a member at the MUA? Have I you, am. Have you written any of these suggestions? I on? pitched a project proposal, and okay. I got almost no votes. OK. <laughs> but Good. Yeah. Make, it, make it more sexy. I, I tried. <laughs> Hello. Uh, Hello, Gordon. Martin. Uh, I have a quick, uh, clear uh, suggestion, and that is to make badge criteria a fully fledged plugin. Oh, okay. At the moment, the badge criteria are uh, four or five hard coded criteria, yeah. and so we can't add new ones. So please make badge criteria a fully fledged plugin. I, I appreciate the clarity of that suggestion, Gordon. Thank, Thank you. you. A lot of thought went into it. <laughs> Who's next? 
I mean, we're, yeah, we're, I'd like yep. to um, see an improved um, blog functionality for students to use. Oh. So the, the blog function at the moment is sort of a bit weird, I think. Oh, um, yeah. <laughs> um, so I'm thinking about it in terms of like student learning journals for them to be able to sort of write their own sort of learning journals. Okay. A bit like you would do in a kind of a, just a web blog or something or a WordPress or something like that. Okay, bring back the journal activity. Yeah. Okay. Got deleted earlier on in Moodle's history. <laughs> um, probably in a new form, of course. Uh, who's next? Yeah. Uh, if further on to the uh, uh, marking forms being more flexible, can you make it so that you can do a partial edit and then save it instead of having to fill in the whole thing? Uh, so that you can come back to marking and do incremental saves? So because right. um, yep. quite often you get timed out. Okay. For, by your institution. Okay, cool. I'll, I'll add that to the marking forms one. I guess a whole lot of work on marking forms. You're talking about the ones in, ass in assignment. Right. Yep. Let's keep going over to the edges, you two. Okay, where, where are you? Hi, Martin. Yes. I'm back here. Uh, one of the things that our examiners would really, really love is, and I cringe to say it, forgive me, uh, is to the, have the option to turn off PDF annotation. Let me tell you why. Okay. So in some of their assignments, there's students are submitting 100 to 300 pages and they're doing individual yeah. grading the old-fashioned way. Got it. Okay. Uh, no, sorry, I, I'm only, I'm just, we have to finish. That's all, we've we got a lot to go still. So let's, uh, I, I'm just, Thank you. we've got it. Thank you. I didn't even know, I thought you could switch it off. So I'm surprised to find out that you, oh, you can? Damien says you can switch it off at a site no, level. No. No? Okay. Boop. Over there. Who's got it? Um, hopefully this is not already there and I'm uh, make a fool of myself. Uh, but meta courses um, to allow uh, like multiple groups to go across as well rather than just putting it into one group. So if a course is meta grouped. Um, yep. So, so groups get carried across yes. to meta courses. Yeah. That's come up a few times already this week. So it's good. Uh, over the side. Hi, um, it's a really suggestion around forums. Um, I think forums of the commonly used activities probably the least sophisticated tool in Moodle, um, despite I know you put a lot of work into it. Um, <coughs> I would suggest perhaps looking into whether you can integrate into one of the most modern um, commercial brands, whether that's like say Zenforo for example. Okay. Or um, there's a harmonized by 42lines.net which uh, integrates into Canvas but not into Moodle uh, largely because I think some university in the US paid for it to happen so. Can't you? I, I'm just use, thinking. You could use LTI for that sort of stuff. Well right? you would yeah you would hope so but they use an LTI but it still needs a lot of customization apparently. Um, but certainly possible. Well, All I'm thinking uh, is it's the, the current um, forum is probably no more sophisticated than the ultimate. What do you mean board. by sophisticated? What do you need? Oh, um, all sorts. There's a combination of um, arrangements and forums and the way responses. Most forums I've seen do less than Moodle's forum. Yeah, I, I, I use a lot of forums. <laughs> okay, so what's, what's an example? One example oh, we Being able say. to put thread, personal thread marks and administrator thread marks through threads, um, read, unread on a far more flexible individual basis, admins okay. being able to unread whole threads, uh, okay. admins being able to deal with user groups and individual groups. Um, all right. Point systems, yeah. Okay, all right. A lot of modern just stuff. Improve I, I'm just wondering a lot. whether this could solve your problems yeah. without I'm not gonna, individual I'm not going to jump to using any particular other sort of forum. No, uh, okay. I, the, the, what you want is a lot of forum improvements. So if we're going to vote on that, that's, that's a good thing. I yeah. think it's enough. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, let's have another oh, 10 if we can do it quickly. So uh, I'm going to ask you down the front because you know, they're not going to get to you. So yeah. um, I'll, I'll repeat the question. It's okay. Stay up there. New users of Moodle and people that haven't used it very much, some sort of when they get a new site, some sort of um, build helper that helps them build a little bit of a skeleton shell. Right. Um, Course wizard. To, to start with, have a couple of activities and then they can go into the settings and 
go from there. Yep. Thank you. Uh, down the back. Yep. Um, can we fix question banks? Didn't you have one? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Pass it around. Uh, we've got one over here. Yeah, go ahead, Martin. Um, just better student reporting and tracking site-wide across the whole site for uh, uh, course completion, etc., for what? students. <coughs> Uh, student tracking for completion so, yeah, site-wide, yeah. like competencies? Well, like where, if a student completes a course and let's say that they're doing 20 courses and you actually have to have a quick overview of all the students that let's say that you're looking after or on a site admin level, you can just have a... I know there's some plugins that you can use for that, but basically... Like course, course transcripts, sort of? Yeah, or even just a quick uh, visual overview and, and a download okay. of, of something. So, I mean, the My Moodle courses be, um, options being For fantastic. all students at once or one at a time? No, for all students, so an overview. So, and, yeah, and then you, you can go actually, to a user profile and see Yeah, that. exactly. Oh, but okay. An overview, so, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Uh, a couple more on that side. Hello, yeah, yeah. Um, some Khan content, uh, HTML templates with maybe some Font Awesome and jQuery interactive um, templates that, you know, make uh, a nice presentation layer? Because um, we talked about this before, so like template components available from the editor, yeah? I know, that one keeps coming up. This side, a couple more. All it of these are Moodle core ideas. Yes? Um, I'd love to see uh, the Moodle chat Messenger, messenger uh, feature to be, um, I guess, integrated across site-wise, so students could jump from course to course and they could still be chatting with uh, student A um, that was in a particular course and then go to another course and still be chatting with them. Um, so have a, d a different layer, um, sort of okay. like Facebook, so you could nav navigate okay. around Moodle and... Um, that would... Yeah. Okay. All right, all right. So, like... Um Um, on page, something like that. Yeah, that'd be great. Okay. Uh, this way, yes. Forgive me if it's in Moodle 3.3, but um, due dates on forums? Due dates? If it can have a grade, it, sh it should have a due date. Okay. This side? Martin, haven't found it. Uh, user logging for um, gradebook weightings? User logging. Uh, logging, yeah, to find out who changed the weightings in a grade book. <laughs> um, so we, we do, yeah, okay, yeah, it's not exposed. So you just <laughs> want to see a history of changes to the grade book? In the, in, yeah, in the weightings setup. Oh, in the weightings? Only in the weightings? Or everything? Well, it's, it's in the grades, okay. but not in the weight. Well, I haven't found it in the weightings. These are logged, actually, but we don't display them anywhere, <laughs> stupidly. A uh, couple more, yes. Uh, Site-wide question banks. Site-wide question banks. Yeah. For quizzes, yeah. Do we not have that? Yeah, yeah. 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 we do. Excellent. You can make quiz. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> One less. All right, a couple more. Side, yes. Um, an AI chatbot that we can uh, train to answer student questions about their courses, their grades, that kind of thing. Okay. And that's linked to your um, at-risk student stuff, the you know, Project Aspire, so yep. that uh, it can talk to them and say, get on with it or do this course on motivation or talk to your counsellor. Well, actually, you just put... AI chatbot. Ah, it's getting late in the week. All right, uh, last two. I would like the settings for activities and tools to be simplified a little bit. As Moodle has grown, the settings have grown, and I think that the low level users, like the teachers, are either intimidated by them all and don't make changes or try and make changes and don't quite know what they're doing and break things. That's, you've, that's a massive uh, writhing kettle of fish. Thank you. 
Um, uh, last one over here. So you pick them. I'm not going to pick them. Oh, thank Thanks, Hasfani. Um, I've only just started using the workshop, um, pl uh, the, the uh, module, and it's fantastic. But it's a bit clunky. It would be nice if it could okay. be a little bit easier to use, um, even with the – because you have to go into stages. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, right. that's it. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, now look, there's some very specific things here. I'm going to stop because, well, who thinks I should keep collecting stuff or should we have a vote on these? We, we want to go home, right? Let's, all right, let's do it. So, um, you've got five votes each. I'm trusting you guys. <laughs> Only vote for five. Um, so, I'm just going to go through these and we're going to have a show of hands where you show one of your, one of your five votes and I'm going to roughly estimate how many people I'm looking at here. This was easier in the US. Make it a hey? Make it a <sighs> <laughs> I, I, I could, but we're not going to do it this second, unfortunately. I would love to go, hey, Moodle, make that a poll. <laughs> and it just. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, that comes under AI chatbot assistant. So. Uh, okay, first one, lesson integration with question database. Uh, how many hands we got here? One, uh, one, ready? Everyone up? Ready? I might need some help counting. I don't know if I want to have uh, some it's external verifiers. Oh, they're going up and down, you guys. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, 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 thirty
Student created activities, well, they're making it easier for to make a student created activity, probably. One, two, three, not even the person who suggested it. Oh, yes, you did. <laughs> Four, <laughs> five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Uh, make badge criteria fully fledged plugins. That's been cycling around for a while. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, about another twenty-three. Uh, bring back the journal activity. So some sort of journaling, blogging. In, in you talk about course level, I assume, or fixing another one. Yeah. Is <laughs> <laughs> You love blogging so much. One, I'm going to count this way this time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten, twenty, six. Uh, allow PDF annotation to be switched off. What, really? It's one of your top five. Wow. One, two, five. The whole table over there. <laughs> six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, about fourteen. Uh, meta courses inheriting groups. Oh, all you guys again. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, about twenty. Improve forums a lot. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, about fifteen. Uh, course wizard for new courses. Oh, a lot of hands for this one. Uh, I'd say 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 5. <laughs> uh, course transcript or course overview for students. So you can see some sort of report of all the courses that are finished or not finished for students. Not very well defined that one, but. Something like that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, about seventeen. I'm trying to make as many of these prime numbers as possible, I don't know why. Uh, template, template or components available from the editor. So the idea here is that you have a menu in the editor and you just go plop, I want a an HTML nice element that goes into the text at this point. Maybe it's like a call out box or something like that. Ooh, ooh, you only had five votes, remember? One, two, you guys, you're like a block vote over there. <laughs> Six, eight, ten, twenty, thirty, forty, seven. Uh, message chat interface floating on the page. So bringing chat kind of more up front like Facebook. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15. Due dates on forums. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. History of changes to grade weightings. So it's more of an audit tool, I guess, to see who changed things in the grade book. Two, three, four, five. Uh, an AI chatbot assistant gone from like level of difficulty like boom. <laughs> uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven,
Well, you, you would say that because you said that, but like, what does everyone else think? Uh, okay. All right. Um, well, that's our results. I'm not going to sit here and just edit them into, into order right now. Uh, what I will do is I'll open up this again and you can help me. Um, but um, I'm very interested to hear they're all Moodle call requests um, and not the other stuff, which is fine. That means I can do whatever I want on the other stuff. Fantastic. Um, and I'm not going to give everyone edit rights just yet because what happens is people start slipping things into the list. Um, <laughs> ah, you thought, damn it, that's what I was going to do. Um, so. Uh, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll clean this up and I'll tweet the, the thing around and it can be a statement of something we got out of this last session. Um, th th this is the kind of thing that our, our developers can use to help set some priorities. Um, it's part of the input we have from many sources. Um, what, what we just went through there is pretty much an analogue of what happens at the Moodle Users Association. <coughs> so people suggest projects, we obviously have a lot more discussion to define them and then people have limited amounts of votes based on how much money they've paid to the association and then the votes are added up and we get priorities picked and so that's how that works. Um, the developers uh, are using what the Moodle User Association is saying, what the, the, these little exercises, um, voting in the tracker, uh, everything, all the input that we've all gathered uh, by talking and listening to everybody uh, here at the Moot, it's all, all grist for the mill. What I'm happy about now is that with the investment that I announced uh, yesterday, uh, we will have more developers to get through more things. Uh, and I, I really want to deliver, I want us to be delivering for you guys um, so that we, we, you aren't waiting around so long. Um, and another change that I'm not sure we talked about uh, widely is uh, that we're looking at, with more developers available, uh, moving back to something we used to have in the old days, which is having particular people responsible for particular modules. Because lately, with a, a smaller team, we've been working as a team and moving across the whole of Moodle, which means no one's responsible for anything particularly. But in the old days, each module was usually owned by one person and they used to just work on it. So they did new features and fixed the bugs for it. Um, so we wanna, we're, we're talking about going back to that and I think you might see a lot more uh, progress, especially in the activity modules where a lot of these are focused on. So thank you very much. Um, I know Ron's gonna start, set up, come up and say some words but I just wanna personally say uh, that it's been a real pleasure to have everyone here to last couple of days. Uh, I've been getting such a joyful feeling out of it. I know we've had some, some good news, but also just being in Australia and seeing all your faces again. Um, there's so many people here who've been with Moodle for so long. I'm, I'm asking you to, to, to stick with us. Uh, really cool things are coming uh, and we're, uh, we're working very hard behind the scenes to keep you happy and, uh, and, and empower you and empower all of us, <coughs> as I said. So thank you very, very much. It's been a really good, nice couple of days. Thanks.